Hey bitch, welcome back to my motherfucking channel. If you're new here, I'm Joey, aka Pretty Boy Joey, aka Mr. Studio Rato, aka I don't know. Anyway, what's up? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, duh. So for today's video, obviously, read the fucking title. Today I'm gonna be doing a video on misconceptions that, if I even pronounce that right, um, that people have about me me okay and a lot of people do have misconceptions about me because people just like to be jealous of me people like to talk about me all the time and people just wish that they were me so they just be talking shit about me all the time yes that's what we're gonna be doing for today's video i've actually been meaning to do this video for the longest minute i literally requested this video on my ig story like months ago months fucking ago and i never record this video but today we're gonna finally get it done I just, bro, I swear, I always say, oh, I'm gonna get consistent, I'm gonna get consistent. Bitch, life happens, okay? I don't get consistent. That's my own fault, okay? That's my own motherfucking fault. Anyways, let's get started with this video. Let me just find these questions, okay? Or misconceptions, whatever you want to call it. I started featuring my fan from Mazatlan that my mother bought me. Isn't it so cute? And, yeah, she bought it for me because I'm a sweaty-ass bitch. I get hot all the fucking time, so... Yeah, don't judge me, okay? Do not judge me. But anyways, we're gonna get started on the first mink- Ugh! This word is a tongue twister, okay? Do not judge me. This is a big-ass word. It's the truth, this one. The first one is, I thought you were gay. JK, I love you. Obviously, everyone thought that I was gay growing up. That is a very true con misconception, whatever you want to call it. Yes, that is true. Duh, because hello, it's me. Okay, so let's get on to the next one real quick. <clears throat> that you chew, that you eat with your mouth open. Wait, that you eat with your mouth open and chew loudly. First of all, bitch, no the fuck I don't. I do not do that. I only do that if I'm alone. And it's like here and there. If it's like something crunchy, like some yellow or like some hot Cheetos. Or like, ugh, you, you will never catch me chewing on a fucking chicle loud as fuck. No, that's not for me. Bitches that, people that fucking, let me not say bitches before I get fucking demonetized or whatever you want to call it. Before I get reported, there we go. People that chew with their chicle mouth open and noises, y'all, mm, I can't, I just can't do it. Like, why are you chewing with your mouth open so much? Like, shut up. And then also, you just look dumb chewing with your mouth open. This next one, oh, this is from my, this is actually from my friend Kareli. Um... Alright, so this is the next one. This one is actually from my good friend, Kareli. This, um, she said she thought that I didn't like her. No, wait. Let me pronounce this right. That you didn't like me. Um, did I? I feel like I did. I mean, actually, obviously, I love you, Kareli. Love you. Um... I'm pretty sure I did like her, you know, a lot of people have this misconception that I don't like them when I, when they first meet them because I have a bitch face, so people just automatically assume that I don't like them, which is honestly kind of true because I hate people and I don't like talking to people, so when I first meet you, I might hate you like a little bit. No, I won't say hate. Hate is a strong ass word. Um, I might not like you right away because I just don't like people. I don't like meeting new people. I'm not I'm not big on meeting new people, you know? That's just never been me. Oh, also, real quick update. I went to go see Nicki Minaj in concert. <sighs> Beautiful. It was a masterpiece on a stage, literally. Let me add a little clip real quick just to show y'all what I was experiencing. All right, so next one is that I, another similar one that I mean, that I was mean. This is sort of true. I don't feel like I'm mean, honestly. I personally don't think I'm mean. I just feel like 
I just feel like, like I said, I don't like talking to people, but if I talk, like, hmm. Honestly, a lot of people do think I'm mean, but with girls, I'm very nice. I'm very nice once you get to know me, because me, I'm a guy's girl. Wait, no. I'm a girl's guy. Yeah, I'm a girl's guy. I love hanging with girls. I love making new girlfriends or homegirls. But when it comes to dudes, no. I'm. It's not that I'm not nice. I just don't really talk to dudes ever. I don't really ever acknowledge a dude if like I'm around one. Like, yeah, I'll say hi to you. But other than that, no, you're not really getting much of a combo out of me. Just because I don't like talking to dudes. I prefer to talk to the girls, okay? I don't know. Maybe that's just a gay feminine guy thing, probably. So this one is actually from my friend Paola. Um, she said that I was the cutest boy in gym class, which first of all, you're a fucking liar, you fucking bitch. Because no the fuck I was not. No the fuck I was not. I appreciate you. Love that, that you're trying to hype me up. But when I tell you guys, when I was in high school, I was freaking fugly. Like, I was not cute. Like, I honestly thought that I was cute, but... I really wasn't like in my freshman year I looked innocent because I just had a comb over and um yeah did I just have a I yeah I just had a comb over and like my face still wasn't like you know how do I say this like I was barely going through puberty when I was when I was like my freshman year no when I was in eighth grade that was when I was barely going through puberty so like every I still looked like a child very much but I wasn't ugly my freshman year. For sure I was ugly my sophomore year. Not ugly. I'm not going to say ugly. I was for sure not the cutest my my sophomore year and my junior year for sure. Because I had an Edgar haircut. Well, a, a shorter version of an Edgar haircut. And also when I was, I think, I didn't have that much acne though. I feel like I didn't have as much pimples as I thought I did honestly. I feel like in my head, I felt like I had a shit ton of pimples, but I really didn't. I'll probably insert a couple pictures. They're fucking cringy as fuck because just no. Like, oh my goodness. I don't even want to put them in, but I feel like for the, for the sake of this video, I have to show you guys what I used to look like. But for sure, my sophomore year, I was not cute. Like, no way. There was for sure other... Was there? There was probably other guys that were cuter than me for sure at the time because bitch you can't live with me now but for sure at the time you're a fucking liar Paola do not fucking lie to me don't do this to me because if you thought I was cute then what if, the, if you if that's what cute is to you then what the fuck am like am I considered ugly like oh my goodness no I was not cute I promise y'all in high school I was not cute okay next one that I'm a hoe your mother. Your mother's a hoe. That's who's a hoe, is your mother. Just kidding. Probably. But it's okay, you know. Your mother has to own up to it. And, you know, it's okay. But, no. For sure, I feel like for sure I was a hoe. For sure, when I when I was 18 years old. I'm 20 now. But I for sure was a hoe when I was 18. Not that I was, like, you know, just tossing it out there. Just letting anyone have it for free. No. I'm, I talked to for sure a lot of fucking dudes when I was 18 and I would say No, I would say was that 17? No, I was 18 and then also when I was in high school For sure I was a hoe when I was in high school because that's when I had That's when I had I guess just came out or whatever and just officially said like hey y'all I'm gay Even though everybody knew for sure when I was in high school I was a hoe only because And again I wasn't just tossing it out there just to anyone to have it I was for sure talking to a lot of dudes in high school because, like, I, like, I had just came out. So, like, I was just exploring my sexuality as much as I could. So, yeah, I got on an app that I should not have gotten on when I was in high school. So, if, if you know, you know. And I should not have been on that app, okay? Don't, not too, but not too much on me. Not too much on me. Because... It was a mistake, and I learned my lesson, okay? And for all you younger gays, do not get on that fucking app. I, I know you're watching this. Don't fucking get on that app, because what are you doing on there? 
What the fuck are you doing on there? You should be doing your fucking homework than to be worrying about who the fuck is the top and who's the fucking breast and who's the fucking bottom, okay? So get your ass off that app and get to fucking doing your homework, okay? Okay, good. So, last but not least, the question of all, not question, last but not least, the misconception of all misconceptions is that I talk to a lot of DL men. Mm, I played the fifth on this one. Sorry. I'm not going to answer that question. Just kidding. I'll answer it. Because, bitch, I don't give a fuck. This is my channel. I'm going to say what the fuck I want. But... That is true. That is not true right now at the moment because for sure the moment whenever I talk to DL dudes, um I feel like I only do that whenever I'm going through some shit or like um or like say like let me think. Yeah, for sure it only has to do whenever I'm going through something like mentally because I need something to distract myself and for and for some reason I choose that as a distraction. Because I'm just like, okay, these fucking easy ass little bitches, like, let me go to them. Because I'll get some fucking attention out of this and I'll, like, distract myself from whatever it is I'm going through mentally. So, yes, I have talked to a lot of the old dudes, not seriously, because I'm not stupid. But I have, oh my goodness, I have made the mistake of talking to of more so just interacting with a lot of DL men. That's not something I recommend you young gays do. And for all the girls on here, I suggest y'all to be careful with your boyfriends because a lot of them are gay. So just be careful. But yeah, that is, I guess, a true misconception, whatever you want to call it. That is true, but not anymore. That is true about old Joey, not now Joey. Joey from the past, talk to DL men, not anymore. And I will never, ever, ever, Ever. Let me not even say that. I'm gonna not say that because I don't want to make myself look stupid after. But anyways, you guys. That. Yeah, that was that. That was, an, that was its own time, okay? But anyways, you guys. Not to drag this video longer than it should be. Because we don't want to make this a 20 minute video. But that is all the misconceptions people have about me. And I don't give a fuck, okay? But yeah, you guys, that is for today's video. Um, if you guys have any recommendations for any videos you guys want me to do or any fucking, um, any ideas that you guys have in the comments of shit that you guys would want me to do, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you guys want to see from me. Other than that, love y'all. I gotta go hang out with Nikki now because she just invited me out to one of her tours. So I'll catch y'all later, okay?